Hi guys, in the previous video I put this clock mechanism back together, or at least the electronic part of it, so that we could use that little coil in the way it was originally designed to twist the magnet. Uh, the magnet's actually got a gear wheel on it and that would normally step the um, clock hands round eventually and I was talking about it always pulsing in one direction and pushing the gear around but when I watched the video back I was wrong each pulse was in the opposite direction so it would twist one way oh that's not good <laughs> I need a wooden stick alright plastic stick so first pulse it would turn one way and the second pulse it would turn the other way and then it would go back. So the current is obviously being pulsed through that coil uh, and reversed on every well every cycle. So forwards one way and reverse the next one, then forwards then reverse. And I thought how can I demonstrate that easily? And I remembered in fact, it's been in a conversation I've had quite recently with somebody that some red LEDs have got a low enough forward voltage that they will actually light up a bit off a one and a half volt battery. You won't be able to get a white one or a green one or a blue one, as I've got here, to light up, but you will just about be able to get a red one to light up don't know if I can demonstrate the battery here because that light's probably a bit bright um, I'll just kill the light right you can just see one of those LEDs is lighting and that is just off this just, if I can move that away a bit be able to see it. Oh yeah, there we are, we can see it. So what I've done is I've set up two LEDs, one facing one way. And then if I turn the battery around, the other one lights up. So what I'm going to do is hold these two terminals, uh, sorry, these two jumpers on the terminals of the circuit and we might be able to see it pulsing but I'll probably have to turn that light off yeah you have to bear with me on this because now I can't see what I'm doing no I literally can't see what I'm doing <laughs> I have to put the light on get the wires in position. I've disconnected that coil in case you're wondering. So the coil is no longer in circuit. Yep, that's doing it now. So light out. I don't know if you can, yeah, you can only just see it because it is, it's not the full voltage. So there you go, we are lighting LEDs with about one and a half volts, but they're red LEDs because they've got such a low forward voltage and they are only just lighting and you can see them fairly clearly because I've got all the lights out. But if I put the light back on, you really can't see that. Can I cover it with my hand? There we are, just about to see it. So there you go, it is actually pulsing forwards and backwards, so every other pulse is the opposite direction. I think I've just moved my fingers off there. Yeah, I just thought that was worth another little video just to show it will light up with the existing one and a half volt battery, but not very bright. 
just for fun on his video he added an extra battery in that part of the circuit so you've got one and a half volts going in but then it was boosted in this bit with another one one and a half volts but that would only light in one direction like this we can get them both to light just so yeah that's it that was just another thing that tied in two conversations that tied in the thing about LEDs lighting with less than one and a half volts because that's a common question on jaw thieves and you get confused because if you use a red LED for your jaw thief it will light up anyway if you use any other colour it won't light up unless the jaw thief's working properly Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily, so don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.